Hello everyone, it's Benny, and in this video, we're going to be doing all the setup we need to start making a 3D physics engine. Now, strictly speaking, all you really absolutely must do to set up is go into the your favorite editor for your favorite programming language, set up a new project, and you're good to go. And if you really want to, you can do that. You can follow along, for the most part, just fine like that. However, the thing about physics engines is it's a lot nicer, especially with a 3D physics engine, to be able to see all your 3D objects doing their motion, rotating, interacting, you know, all the physics stuff you're programming. It's nice to be able to visually see that. And if you want to do that, you need a rendering engine, which I'm not going to talk about in this series because it's outside the scope of the series. But if you want that, and I personally do because I'd like to show you all our physics in action, you're going to need to get that from somewhere. And that's what the setup we're going to do in this video is about. Now, you can choose just about any rendering engine you want to represent your physics engine. However, I'm going to use the 3D game engine that I wrote in my 3D game engine tutorial series, and I'm going to use the C++ version. It's worth mentioning at this point, however, that I'm going to be doing things in a fairly language-independent manner. If you don't want to follow along in C++, if you'd rather use the Java version of the 3D engine or something, you should have no issues doing that. I'm writing, again, in a very language-independent fashion, or at least I'm trying very hard to. So feel free to use your favorite programming language for this. But if you want to follow along with the C++ version like I am, you're going to need to download the project. So you can go to the repository here. The link is github.com slash bennyqbd slash 3denginecpp. And you can download and zip, or you can clone, either way. And if you want to build it, I have this nice list of all the build dependencies and all the notes for dependencies, the build instructions for all the operating systems, everything. So this is what, this is how you're going to build the product. I'm not going to walk through building things here because there's already this nice list of build instructions that does exactly that. And even better, this is going to be updated as things change, and this video won't. So if you want to build the project, read the README. That has all the build instructions there. Once you've done that, however, you can set up and build the project however you like. You can build it as a code block project, you can build it with Visual Studio, you can build it with Xcode, you can build it with whatever your favorite C++ editor is. I personally am going to be using GVim. So, I'm going to open the project and here I am inside GVim. And this is what it looks like. And there. And after you've set everything up you should be able to build and run and see an example scene that looks something like this. And there you go. And really that's all you absolutely, well, you don't even need to absolutely do this. This is all you really need to set up the project. So, hope this helped, and in the next video we're going to actually start doing some coding. Before I go, however, there is one thing I'd like to just mention real quick. I realized that certain video display mechanisms, aka YouTube, aren't exactly the most friendly with displaying code text like this, because of the small window and compression and resizing and whatnot. So let me know how this looks to you in your YouTube player. Is it too small? Is it too big? Is it whatever? So just let me know how the text size is working out, and if you don't like it, well, I'll see what I can do to fix that. So with that, Thank you, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I will see you in the next video, where we will actually start doing some basic physics stuff. Thank you, see you then.